Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trollmaker. The footage in the background is from a match in Wargame Airland Battle, just with some random people. And the footage will have nothing at all to do with what I am saying today. This is because what I'm saying today actually doesn't have a physical basis in the game. It is something that is purely theoretical and something that you will consider. It is the mathematics of choosing commands, when to expand, what to take, is it gonna be worthwhile? And that's all gonna be explained in very simple grade two style math for everyone to see. So the premises there are two or three different types of commands that you can get. The first one is your command tank. You'll only ever be able to field one of these. They're very, very limited supply. These are your frontline warriors. They're very heavily armored, have great strength value, which means they have lots of health and survive quite well. Your second type are your command armors. These are the most common type. They usually range around 150 to 180 cost. And uh, these are just all purpose, great armored items. Your third type are your command jeeps, which are insanely cheap but as a cost they are very very vulnerable easy to kill especially with artillery and jets so in a battlefield you'll want your command tanks and your command armor to be at the front line and your jeeps to be at the back of the line so they're in positions that is less vulnerable um, from here you have points each base has a point on it if a base does not have a point on it that means it does not generate revenue most reinforcement points, but not all, most reinforcement points will generate one point every three seconds. So one point every three seconds. So a five point base will generate five points every three seconds. So that's just get a good idea of value. And to make this simple for the math, that means that every second you will get one third of a point, which we'll just call 0.33, just to make it all very simple. So you want to expand to that one point base, you want that reinforcement point, time to think, is it worthwhile economically? Good question. We're going to take our 250, which is our big command tank, and divide that by 0 0.33 points per second. The ending result is 757.5757577 seconds. And we'll divide that into 60 to get 12.62 minutes. So it will start making money for you after 12.62 minutes. At one point every three seconds, after a minute, you'll have accrued a measly 20 points. So one point bases are those that are very good to take early on for points but don't really have a strong benefit to them. You're not going to get that far ahead. In order for that 250 point investment to really pay off, as in have a superior extra amount, it will need to be running for roughly 10 minutes. 200 points, which is a surplus of one and maybe two heavy tanks. Now, a five point base on the other hand, becomes much, much better to take. So going through the simple math, a five point base is five times 0.33. Give me a 1.65, nice number. Our 250 command tank divided by 2.65 will grant us an easy 94 and a third seconds or a minute and a half. Five point bases are immediately beneficial the faster you get them, the better it is. It even makes sense to move your command from a reinforcement point to a five point base to grab it. Every single base in a macro way is gonna be better than that one point base. Now, that's for the command tank. What about a command Jeep or 100 pointer, which is easy to kill? Well, quite simply 100 divided by 0.33 will give us an even 300 seconds or six minutes. So command jeeps become very, very effective and worthwhile because they have a low cost of 100 points, which is easy to replace, and they yield high profits compared to everything else. Command jeeps are not particularly popular, but they ought to be because they are a very cheap, effective unit in which if you lose them, it's not the end of the world. It's very easy to replace 
and it's very, very, very beneficial. Now, this is, of course, not the total story. Standard map, the reinforcement point is going to be very close to your five and six point bases. It'll be very close to things you actually want. In team play, it'll be your 10 and 12 point bases. So this is an opportunity cost. Let's say you're going to use a command jeep or a command tank, 250, and then a command jeep behind it at the reinforcement point for 100. So 350 points. Now we also have a six points here, so that's five for the big one and one for the reinforcement, and that's times 0.33, and that's gonna grant us a nice little even 1.98, so almost two. And we'll divide that by our total, 350 divided by 1.98, and the combined isn't too bad. Combined, you're looking at 176 seconds, or roughly three minutes. So that's an opportunity cost. The reinforcement point will get you faster reinforcements to the front line. It will allow you to defend the location, and it will allow you to uh, attack as well. Now, of course, this also means that your opponent has the exact same opportunity costs, which means taking those four reinforcement points becomes even more valuable because it means not only are you taking a potential five-point base, but you're also potentially denying that kind of income. So in this macro mode, it makes sense to deny as many of those five-point bases for your opponent as humanly possible. And grabbing that reinforcement point, maybe it won't net you a very fast amount of income. But what it will do is take his away. He will lose five points every three seconds, which means that after six minutes you will have, or after three, after a minute and a half you will have a, a heavy tank or three. You're denying that from him. So suddenly the reinforcement points make a lot more sense. The zero point ones so far do not make sense. There are ones on the map that are zero points. They don't make a ton of sense. Um, it's really hard to make them val as valuable. They're only valuable if you take a, if you can take a middle high point in advance to reinforce from. So in order for this to make sense, you have to take the middle location first, grab that, that high point, and then get the reinforcement point after, which is a little bit backwards thinking, but that's the only way the math will really makes sense. I hope this was helpful. My name is Trollmaker. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will have more um, relevant tactical stuff with actual in-game footage next week. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, like I said, subscribe to my channel. I have more great stuff coming, as well as casts, once the replay viewer shows up.